Yo, it's Margo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. I'm back with my boy Jetta. Yeah, What's again? going on? Good looking. How are you? All right. Yeah. First Click thing on. you want to do is hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you know that portion of the video where I bug you guys. Yeah. Or the plus if you're on a smartphone or tablet. Right. That allows YouTube to send you an uh, email once a week with all the latest. Yes. And the greatest. And the greatest videos we have. All right. So today we're talking about how to remove the rear bearing off of your motor armature for your yes. pool or spot pump. Now remember, this is just a generic video to show you what is involved in pump repair. If you have a specific model that you're looking to repair, please check out our YouTube channel by subscribing. Right. I know that's oh, not repetitive. Gosh. And we have like 400 other videos yes. on your specific really model. Generation. Okay, so what I've done now is just I've placed my bearing, uh, my bearing puller. Yes. This is called a bearing puller yes. that is attached to the rear and armature. And we have these. We do sell these. Not this exact yeah. brand, but yeah. we sell a little bit of a uh, cheaper model that way. This brand was really expensive and but you're not going to do it all the time. Job done. But it gets the job done. So. You can watch a hundred other videos with us using that tool. Yes. And then you mount your uh, bearing puller onto the rear of your shaft to remove the rear bearing. So there's just a view of it, what it looks like. Okay, that is how you remove the rear bearing. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com pumprepairsupply.com and spapumprepair.com depending on what pump you have and what you need to fix. Alright, my All right. see you later, my boy Jetta. Make sure you subscribe and show us some love and we'll see you in the next set of videos. Peace!